Stray is the highly anticipated debut feature film from award-winning writer-director Dustin Fenley. Made independently, Stray holds a record for the highest amount ever raised through donation-based crowdfunding for a Kiwi film. It is also the first New Zealand feature to be selected for the Moscow International Film Festival. And it brought home the Best Actor Award as well. Dustin Fenley joins us right now. Welcome. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> by the way. Give a round of applause, everyone. Congratulations. Awesome. First up, tell us a little bit about the movie. What's it about? Yeah. Um, so Stray is an art house drama about these two damaged people, Jack and Grace, who... Jack's come out of prison, Grace has come out of psychiatric hospital and they meet in the mountains in winter and fall into this complex, intimate relationship and that kind of either promises to hurt or heal them. So it's a yeah, fairly serious drama about relationships, yeah. OK, and how, you know, how long have you been working on this for? As a writer and a director, yeah. it's probably been a long process. Yeah, yeah, I had the idea in 2008. We shot in 2016, finished uh, last year. So I guess it's like 10 years to the, wow. to the big screen. A 10-year yeah. project. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the, the scenery is just stunning, um, landscapes and mountainscapes. Uh, where was it shot? And was that a vital, important thing yeah. to film? It was hugely important uh, and, and tough to pull off and more expensive to pull off, but um, we shot in central and north Otago, so Queenstown, Cromwell, Luggett, Alexandra, Omarama, Ot Otamatata, so all around. Um, we were kind of like a travelling circus um, making this little indie film. And um, yeah, landscape's incredibly important to the film. Why is it so important? Um, because it kind of reflects the... Um, you know, there's a duality in that landscape in winter that's both kind of beautiful and pristine but also haunting and um, a little bit, you know, melancholic and that reflects the themes of the film and the characters and as well. And hard work as well. Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. <laughs> Cold. OK, well, that brings us nicely to the characters. Can you tell us a bit more? Do these yeah. two basically carry the, the, the film? Yeah, so it's a wow. two-hander. So you've got a young guy, 21 Jack, who's come out of prison for trying to kill a man who killed his girlfriend in an accident, he's gone to prison. And so he's on parole, kind of flees to go to this crib in South, um, South Island. And then Grace, who's 36, who's coming out of psych hospital and is trying to reintegrate back into society. And then they have this chance meeting and then they spend several days together. And that, that time together gives them kind of oxygen again and allows them to heal a little bit so that they can kind of move on with their lives at the end of the film. And it's ironic, isn't it, that it deals with a lot of mental issues as well. Mm, yeah. And ten years ago, when you were penning this, you you know you wouldn't have thought that it was so timely nowadays. Yeah, Perfect. totally. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, and I guess that um, I guess the mental health uh, aspect of the film isn't really you know it's not a, it's not a statement film. It's not a political film. It's quite subtle and restrained in how um, that unfolds or, or what's revealed mm. of that. But mm -hmm. um, definitely it's a more timely and topical element to the film now, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. Now, Moscow International Film Festival, kind of a big deal. And yeah. not only that, but your actor, Kieran Charnock, he, he won Best Actor. I mean, yeah. he beat, who did he beat out? Um, the likes of Clive Owen? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Well, that's phenomenal. Was yeah, that crazy. I mean, what was that like to be there? Um, it was awesome. It was, I was super proud of Kieran because, um, you know, it's his first lead role in a feature film. And um, he... He, you know, he he's, he went real method with this role. So he worked in a factory. He met with um, prisoners. He he lost heaps of weight for the role, and um, so he really pushed himself. So to get that accolade or, or recognition on a world stage against that caliber of talent that he was competing against, essentially, was amazing. And um, so yeah, I was stoked for him. And obviously, it's great for the film. Did you have a little bit of a fanboy moment with the person who actually uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. announced his name? Tell us yeah. about that. Oh yeah, totally. So like. Natasha Kinski gave him the award. She's on the jury. She's in one of my favourite films called Paris, Texas. Um, so, a uh, beautiful American film by Vim Vendors. And so that was like, you know, that's probably my top ten. So, for yeah, it was, it was kind of uh, a buzzy moment to Clocking have. Life. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but I love yeah. those moments because, yeah. you know, it makes it all worth it for everyone yeah, totally. involved in the project. Yeah. You know, it's a big tick. And she afterwards, you know, said how much she loved the film. So that was like... A super movie yeah, watch experience. Yeah, watch yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, awesome. that's a lovely accolade to get, but this was crowdfunded, wasn't mm. it? And you were really surprised when you put it out there yeah. just how much money you got back. Yeah, well, we originally set the target for 75000 and then we ended up achieving 125000 which is, yeah, the most ever raised for a New Zealand film on donations. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we hadn't even crowdfunded five or 10000 So to hit one twenty five was like incredible and uh, you know we're super grateful for all the people who donated and worked on the film. Mm. Um, Why did you do it that way? 
Uh, well, we tried to get the film made through, I guess, the usual channels and uh, weren't successful. So we went down this oh, indie. Did someone indie deny path. you some funding? Uh, yeah, potentially. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fools. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, so, so you've got these accolades. What's next for you? Um, working on another film. I'm working on a psychological thriller uh, set in Southland called Southland. So this film, the, the next film is going to have a bit more action, a bit more complex plot. Um, and high stakes, but still tell a human story about, you know, characters and yeah. Well, I'm a Southlander, grew up in Gore. Do you need oh, some cool. funding? Yeah, yeah. Well, you want to give me some? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the word out I'll to pay for the wrong yeah. part. How's yeah, that? Totally, totally yeah. Excellent. Oh, that's, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Cool. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. D Dustin Fenley's film Stray screens as part of the International Film Festival in Auckland on the 22nd and 24th of July, and then in Wellington, Christchurch and Dunedin in August. You can check out the film festival website for the details. Yeah, I must say it has been praised from everyone that has seen it.